alteration by rotation of an equilateral triangle tessellation. Now that's a title. So we're going to make this tessellation in SketchUp. So open SketchUp and we need to set up our canvas by deselecting axis. Using the large tool set is a little easier. Uh, under camera we want a parallel projection and a top view. And get rid of the person icon. So select the polygon tool which is a triangle shape tool. And the default will be a hexagon so type in 3s and you can see it at the bottom right hand corner. 3s will give us an equilateral triangle. Now if you make a mistake you can always just hit uh, Command Z or Control Z for a PC. Uh, zooming in, I can hit, click uh, Z and use the, the keypad, the mouse pad, and H will pan. If I hit Escape, it goes back to the original tool. So I want to alter this side of the triangle uh, and then rotate it. So I'm going to use, I can either use a line tool or the arc tool or a combination of both. So I'll start off with the arc tool. I need to do three clicks, one to start on one endpoint, and then another click to find the other endpoint, and then a third click to, to get the amount of arc that I want. So I'm going to play with this coming inside the, the triangle and then outside, and I'll end with the line tool. So now I'm going to select these, uh, this new uh, design that I just created and I'm going to hold the option key for Mac or control for PC as I click all these uh, arcs and, and uh, segment and then I'm going to use the rotation tool hold the option key or the control uh, key to toggle it uh, options for Mac controls for PC choose the center of rotation one click and then the second click an endpoint and rotate it and I could snap it into the other vertex or I can type in 60 degrees and it'll pop up in the in the dialog box at the bottom right here yeah, 60 is because it's an equilateral triangle and all the uh, interior angles are 60 degrees okay so there we go for that side now I don't have to change the bottom, but if I do, I'm going to make it interesting. I'm going to go from the midpoint and create a design here from the midpoint to the endpoint. And I can use the arc tool again, and then maybe the line tool. And the idea here is I'm going to rotate this new design from the midpoint to the endpoint. 180 degrees so it matches up with the right side so I need to deselect the, the highlighted area I created and use the option for Mac or control for PC and select the new arcs and sides that I've uh, lines that I've created and now I'm going to use the rotate tool while holding the toggle key option or control and rotate it 180 degrees. Here I can also type in 180. I want to make sure that there's no overlapping sections in the design that I've created. If there are, I need to uh, redo this so I don't get any overlaps. If it overlaps, it won't work. Now use the eraser tool. It's a big pink eraser. And erase the original equilateral triangle. What's likely going to happen is your shape will deselect. It will no, no longer be filled in. So we have to retrace part of it. So usually it doesn't matter which part. I'm just going to use the line here and oh, there it is. Sometimes you got to do a little bit more than this. Now I'm going to design my shape. It kind of looks like a dog. So make sure you periodically save. Go up to File, Save As and put it somewhere and repeat. So let me just show you that this will in fact tessellate. So if I use my rotate tool and hit the toggle button, uh, you'll see that it will rotate on both sides. 
it will tessellate. But for now, I just want to copy this using the copy tool. It's got the four arrows on there. Hold down your toggle, bring it over. At this point, um, I'm going to rotate the second shape 180 degrees, and you'll see that this will fit perfectly on the bottom of the original shape. So grab it. You don't need to toggle it when you're moving it. And grab a corner that cor uh, corresponds to another vertex and snap it in there. Snap. Now's the time where we color and have fun with this. Choose your color scheme. And uh, once you're finished, go ahead and select the entire shape. And then we're going to make a component of this so it locks in everything so you don't make a mistake later on in your tessellation and have to redo a whole bunch of stuff. So I just created a component. You can see the whole shape is selected. Now I'm going to hit the rotate tool, toggle it, and just play with this. There are many, many ways that you can tessellate this. You could start off with going around the same center and we started off originally with a triangle so in order to make 360 degrees with a equilateral triangle you have to go around copy this around six times so same thing here you need six of these figures to tessellate the entire piece now I'm just selecting pieces and continuing to to copy and rotate this around the original center and if it starts getting tricky on the snapping, you can always just type in the amount of degrees that you need. So you be careful about the overlaps and gaps. As I zoom in here, you see there's, I, I've got this very tight and no gaps or overlaps. Once you've done enough, you can zoom in and try to fit the screen so you don't have any sections, uh, unfilled sections on the edges. And then you can... Um, now you're ready to save this now um, and export it as a, a 2D graphic and basically that's just a, an image and uh, you can make it a, a PNG file or a JPEG file find a place to put it on your computer hopefully you got a geometry file in there somewhere and uh, and then you can put this in a Google document and share it. So there we go. I hope you found this video tutorial useful. See you next time.